And finally, before we forget, today is Valentine's Day. Now, before dating apps and emoticons, there were love letters. A new exhibition in Museum 207 in Taipei is celebrating the long-lost art of communicating heartfelt sentiments on paper. It showcases about 100 love letters written in the second half of the 20th century. Some of the authors are famous and others are not. These letters recreated a world in which life was slower, connections were less easy, and nobody broke up using text message. History buffs might be familiar with former premier Chun Yun-shen, but they might not know that he was also a prolific love letter writer. These love letters on the wall were written by Sun to his wife. We hope to let people learn about the history of love letters. The oldest love letter we received is this one, a love letter by Sun Yunxuan to the woman who became his wife. Around 1946, former premier Sun Yunxuan was in Taiwan. He and his wife were not married yet. She was in China, so he wrote to her. He told her that he wants her to come to Taiwan. This Valentine's Day, Museum 207 put together an exhibition called To You, a Love Letter to celebrate the tradition of handwritten notes. The exhibition features around 100 love letters dating from the 1950s to 1970s. For example, in the 1940s, many soldiers or Taiwanese working far away from home would write letters to their loved ones. It was also quite popular for students to write love letters. They would write on paper and then fold their letters into different shapes, such as hearts, to give to their significant other. In Taiwan, there were a lot of young people who left their hometown to work. They would work far from their loved ones. For example, one would live in Taipei and the other in Tainan. They would write love letters to each other. At school, students would pick a bookmark. They would write on the bookmark and then give it to the person they liked. It would be placed in the letter. <laughs> Starting in 1980, pen pals became very popular in Taiwan. To find a pen pal instead of using social media dating apps or websites, people would send their photo and information to a publisher. The book is published every two weeks, serving as a dating platform. Pen pals became very popular. It became very popular starting in 1980 till 2000. It was popular for 20 years. Here at the exhibition, you can also use a typewriter to write a love letter. At the exhibition, people can write their own love letter using a typewriter. The exhibition also showcases Western love notes, which differ from Taiwanese love letters, the curator says. Asians usually don't joke very much. They just say, I love you. On the other hand, Westerners will include funny messages that make you laugh but also show their affection. We wanted to start this exhibition because nowadays messaging is so fast-paced. For example, if you use line or email, you might even send it to the wrong person or misspell a word. Back then, every word was precious. Love letters have captured hearts for centuries. While the medium may have changed, the purpose remains the same, to convey raw emotion. The exhibition hopes to pay tribute to the tradition of handwritten notes and inspire more people to rediscover the practice. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Taichun Yo in Taipei.